This week, a single dad has successfully started dating his nanny, and it's all over TikTok. But we just want to say, despite the temptation, folks, do not try this at home. You gotta lose the ball and chain before you pick up the mop and bucket. Goes without saying that Arnold Schwarzenegger's nasty nanny smashing antics were catastrophic, leading to termination of his marriage to a Kennedy. This was no Fran Drescher, ladies and gentlemen. Many great men have tried and not succeeded. I recall the great Ben Affleck had nanny fever in 2015 when he lost Jennifer Garner. And believe me when I tell you Benny Boy did not garner any sympathy from the Hollywood press. And we all know how that's turned out. Rob Lowe learned the lesson the hard way in 2008 when he did not stick the nanny smash landing, leading to claims that he groped and harassed that nanny. Lowe really flubbed that one big time, folks. And even though the case was eventually dismissed, it was a blunder for the ages. Comedian Robin Williams found out that taking his nanny for a trip to Pound Town was no laughing matter. Looks like the funny man couldn't get away with the funny business. Actors Jude Law and Ethan Hawke suffered a similar fate, but at least Jude Law did not have to marry the nanny. And this is not only actor specific, Ryan, because when Mick Jagger couldn't get no satisfaction with his wife Jerry Hall, his honky tonk nanny Claire Houseman stepped up to the plate. Great point, Danny Bush singer Gavin Rosdale had a disastrous nanny tune up session, and despite being a vegetarian, he put it all on the line to pork his nanny Mindy Man. Boy, are vegetarians losers. It can be attractive these days to see a woman cooking, but let me tell you, the stats on this kind of move are not in your favor. Just ask Joe Piscopo. Be safe out there, boys, and do not try to play God, because when you do, you lose your only son. In a custody battle. The boys. The boys cuss. The lads. The boys cuss. The dudes. We have a son. Me and Danny have teamed up with Mr. Beast for our new video that will be coming out. Mr. Beast helps a thousand male prisoners transition to get into women's prison. Yes, so that's something that I'm we've very been excited on. about that. Yeah, I've been practicing my carving skills. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now, couple of quick announcements. You got to catch me on tour. I'm coming to Tampa Bay, San Diego, Salt Lake City, New York City, uh, Tacoma, Kansas City, Omaha, Edmonton, Los Angeles, Irvine, San Jose, Phoenix, Toronto, Vancouver, and Denver are in the works. We're trying to get those happening. The other thing is, uh, we have the Discord has a new service. Um, where basically it's a, one of the things, a uh, new part of our Discord, but it's basically show topics to post. Yeah. And then they actually show up in just all like the articles. So when I click oh. on it, it shows me like literally just the articles, nothing else. So I've actually been super helpful for people to send those oh, in there. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, it's pretty solid. And then the other and thing. And if you want access to the Discord, sign up for the Patreon. Well, that's the other thing is because I want to say thank you to people because basically the Patreon is, uh, is it, it went cooking? up by like three or 400. And then, so right now, all the people that watch the bug man and everyone was pumped about it. It's like people really liked it. But mm -hmm. more importantly, we're like 350 away. That's yeah. happening sooner than I thought. Yeah. We're at 350 away from the next episode. We're forcing our hand, people. It's sort of a weird thing because we're telling people to sign up to watch it, but they haven't seen the last one unless they sign up. But well, but they, they know, sign up. But there's watch. the social proof element where they go, people are signing up because they're liking it and it's really exactly. good so people on the patreon go in the comments and tell these other chumps how good it was <laughs> yeah go in the comments on youtube and be like you lo cheap losers yeah so you get a tv show and an extra episode i just got back there's a couple of pretty big things but i was just gonna say i just got back i spent the week with uh, jj and che yeah in uh austin degenerate they, it, was, it wasn't that crazy. Austin is a... It is, Austin is a... Like, I, it's funny because if you ask JJ, he'll be like, it was the craziest week ever. What did you do? You go, we went to a restaurant. The food was lined <laughs> out. <laughs> Eight ribs. Did you go get some barbecue? Uh, I didn't even get barbecue. Ooh, I was doing comedy mostly. Sinful behavior. So I did like four shows both night because I did like all the shows at the... Uh, all Friday, Saturday, I did both shows at the one room and then I did Bobby Kelly's shows both, uh, both, both, week, both nights, right? Nice. And it was like super fun hanging out with Bobby Kelly was sick but uh, Austin really is like you walk in on the streets and you're getting bumped around yeah, it's, it's, a, co it's college that, town well, for people that for were sure. done that's college. 6th street right it's like yes. 6th street yeah yeah so I really felt like I was like 
It is a bit much, a little bit. It's just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it almost it's makes kind you of like feel the old, Nash- It's like that Main Street in Nashville. It's a Nashville vibe. It's, yeah, yeah, exactly, right? But the, so whatever. The thing was, the mothership was like very cool. It's like the LA clubs, right? So it's, it's very much like the comedy store. It's a little different than how the New York comedy clubs are. Mm-hmm. Just like the formatting. Yeah, of the whole yeah. Thing. It's like and a theater, like, right? Yeah, exactly. They're all like little small theaters. And mm-hmm. the other ones are pretty big, but it was sick. So it was pretty cool to go there and like did every single show on Friday and Saturday the, uh, that they had on the thing. They have four shows a night? Yeah, well, in the two small? in the big room, two in right, the small right. room. And the people are all very cool. It was, everyone, you know, been talking it up, saying it's like the best thing ever. And it was really cool. Yeah. So I had like a super I fun heard. time there. But the, that's not even so much why I'm bringing this up. So basically, on the way back, I don't think I told you this. No. But Ryan's travel adventures? It's, it's pretty crazy. So I was with, uh, me and Jay were just going back, right? JJ got like a cheaper flight if he left at like 3 35 a.m. You know what I mean? <laughs> In a cargo hold with a bunch of chickens. <laughs> so, and then me and Jay went to breakfast. And then halfway through breakfast, I started like blacking out. And then I was like, I tried to eat my food and I couldn't eat my food. And then I started like spinning. And then I basically just had to like go down. And he was like, What's wrong? And I was like, Just give me a second. And then. I basically, it felt like I just got off the fucking Gravitron. We got vertigo? I got vertigo. Really? I got all day. So I basically go, I have that vertigo. Sounds, I've, I, there was a golfer. It was I think crazy. Jason Day had vertigo, and it seems like an absolute. And it's hell. a ear problem, and you know I've had ear problems, yeah. which is all ear, nose, and throat, the whole package. You think it's because you two fucking uploaded their music on your iPhone and they sing that song <laughs> Vertigo? Yeah. Is that okay. possibly? <laughs> Definitely you two related. Well, so it. yeah, Bond, no, thank you. <laughs> because <I didn't, laughs> so basically, I I I get up. I try to go to the bathroom. I was like, I, I couldn't make it like the fifteen feet, and I go stop. I felt like I was gonna puke, and then I was like, I tried. I basically tried to walk sideways. I thought that would help, so I was walking sideways through the airport. I get to the the bathroom. I immediately puke, and then I'm just sort of like standing there, sweating buckets. Yeah. So I'm in the thing, and then you know people are like, oh, you should go tell the airport security, which I. No, you never do. Because anytime you're at the airport, if you go to the hospital or the doctor there and you go have a problem, they go, oh, that's cool. Well, you can't go on your flight for now. Sure, for sure. Because then they report it to the pilot. They go, we got a sick man here. Yeah. And then the pilot's like, we don't want that loser on our flight. I had that with my ex-girlfriend once and we were on there and she was complaining about her ear and I was like, well, let's just get on the plane and figure it out. And she's like, no, I got to talk to the guy. We go to the doctor. He's like, okay, so what's wrong? She's got my ear. He goes... We got one. And Wait, you can get a free doctor visit if you go to the airport? Yes, yeah, so you can go to the doctor. Seems like an America hack right there. I guess it is a bit of an America <laughs> hack. Maybe they were. I don't know. They didn't charge her, but what they did do. Well, first of all, the doctor doesn't do anything. He just <laughs> tells the pilot that you're we, sick. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically. We got a bogey. <laughs> So we go to get on our thing, and they go, yeah, the pilot said you can't come on because the nurse fucking rings it into the pilot, and the pilot goes, no way. Yeah. So then th- the only way to get on the thing was they go, you need a doctor's note. So they go, well, switch your flight. You got a doctor's note. So we go to get a doctor's note. So we got to leave the so airport. So got kicked off too? Or he no, just no, no. Leaving? This is not. This oh, is this my the other ex. One. Oh, gotcha. So we basically, me and my ex, we went to the, we go to the doctor off of the reservation. Mm-hmm. Exit security, the whole thing. Doctor says he won't give you a note to fly. He's paid the 500 bucks for a doctor, whatever it was. And then the doctor was like, yeah, you probably shouldn't fly in the next 24 hours, so I'm not going to give you the note. So basically, we go back to the airport. The only thing we could do was just like buy a new ticket and not right. do this. And then pretend like you were fine. Yeah, just be, well, not even, no one asked, right? right. It's yeah, only yeah. this one f- pilot, so the other people don't even know. So basically, the whole thing, because she was like, oh, you know what, let me go talk to the thing, <sighs> basically cost us an extra fucking 1500 bucks and... And 24 hours. Believe you me, when I say I wasn't happy, I wasn't Where happy. Where were you camera. at that time? I think it was uh, Mexico or something. No, it, this is even worse. It was a fucking connector. So basically, we were coming back from Honduras, and we connected in, like, Chicago or something, uh, uh, wherever it was, and we're in the airport in our two hours of connecting flight, and she start. so we, get, we don't even stay in there. So basically, we're stuck in this like, hellhole. It's like Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. You want to talk about Fight Club? You can call me. <laughs> <laughs> Flight Club? <laughs> it actually was Flight Club. Flight Club. Flight Club and Fight Club are very similar. <laughs> this is the number one. So that happened to me. I'm getting vertigo. So I just sat on the plane. I'm about to puke the entire time. That sounds like, that's like honestly one of my like l- huge fears is that. It's a nightmare, and I didn't I get it. it. Didn't go away. I get off the plane. I'm I, for maybe two seconds after I was on the plane, I might be fine, and then I almost like fell over again. Yeah, I'm trying to fucking eat. I stuff. feel like I if you went into a, if you went into a gravitron like type ride, but that was going the opposite direction of your spins. 
You have to, you have you to reverse flip it. it. Some people are giving me all sorts of mental tips. Yeah. They go like, what you do is you, you close your eyes and then you turn your head one way, hold it for 40 seconds, you turn your way. And I do all this thing for five minutes and they go, did it help? I go, not even a little bit. Yeah. So it's all a big scam. But on top of that, that is the least of our worries because there is, you want to know who really has worries is Ukraine. And you should be personally invested. <laughs> they have vertigo too? <laughs> you, they're fucking gonna. Does, does Zelensky have vertigo? Zelensky's gonna have more than vertigo because Russia recruited Steven Seagal to teach martial arts to the soldiers. Oh no. I, I guess the war's over though. Because we did the intro. War over! I can't stop doing the voice. Yeah, it's Russia very, recruits Steven Seagal to teach martial arts to its soldiers. It is very like I actually always wondered if you go to school for broadcasting, are they like, here's like listen to some Joe Buck? This is the voice that you want to do. I think what happens probably is that you just see everyone else doing it, and you just kind of know. But like who's like was it Walter? Cronkite no, it's like the song? Chinese experiment or whatever, where they have uh, everyone has to stand when the bell rings, and then eventually no one knows why they're doing it. They right, just do they it. Just do it. Yeah. I always wondered like where where did that come from, or is that just that's the ideal? Well, people used to talk a bit like that back in the day, so it's sort of a throwback. Mm -hmm. But. So apparently Steven Zagal is literally going over to Russia because he's a citizen of Russia, right? He's like really tied with Putin, right? Yeah. And he's just teaching the basically, can you imagine if you were the Ukraine army? You're you know, you got all your fresh American bazookas or whatever they give him, right? Yeah. And you're singing there, you go, and then you see ten thousand Russian troops just coving over the hill like this. <laughs> <laughs> what is he teaching them? Hakido? Hakido. Hakido. <laughs> Which one is that? Hakido? You're a You'll go and find out. Wait, is Akito the one with like the wooden sticks? Dude, Zelensky's going to go over. He's going to be doing a national press conference. And he goes, because this is what's going to happen. Jo Steven Seagal, the troops aren't going to be doing enough. And then Steven Seagal is going to put himself in. You're just going to see him rolling down the hill, taking out soldiers. And then he gets up and then he just goes, job done. <laughs> and then Zelensky's going to come on. He's going to have bir like Tweety Birds flying over his head. He's going to have a big, you know, bandage over his head, crutches. And he goes, no more. <laughs> you know, you can have the Don Bass. You can have. You Everything, have it all, you, whatever it all. you need. You know that if you Google, I just Googled the keto. Biden's, you know, we, I agree. We shouldn't have given that money <laughs> to Joe Biden's son. We'll give you more money. Just take it. Uh, Steven Seagal is the fourth picture that comes up when you Google a keto. Like the, Why is he number four? He should be number one. <laughs> but it's a martial art. It's like... <laughs> He's like, there's no people. It's yeah, just but he's all people the guy who popularized it. it. Oh, I didn't know that. He's oh, the guy come on. who made you it. Wouldn't even have never, you wouldn't even have heard of it if it wasn't for the fucking goat. <laughs> I mean, so, I don't love more Steven Seagal. I don't know what side you are on this war, Ukraine pen. or Russia. You're sort of, you know, you flip flop back and forth. You go whoever, you yeah, know, yeah. you go whoever supports Israel. <laughs> That's whoever right. supports Israel. <laughs> I got loyalties. <laughs> Yo, here's the best part, though. So this is what America needs to do. Uh, I don't know if you can guess, but the only anecdote is John Claude Van Damme needs to train the American soldiers. Well, I was thinking Wesley Snipes. No, because they're the of uh, the. I would say that the uh, what do you call it? Nemesis. Oh, they were nemesis. They were like yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then you basically have the Russian army just going, quoo, 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 and then the American army's all doing splits everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I, I in a fight right now. I think Jean Claude Van Damme would destroy Steven Seagal. Destroy him. He'd squash him like a bug. He's half. He's the size of Steven Seagal's left finger. And I still think I stand by him. Oh, you're out. You're cooked out of your mind. J JVD pal. takes that down. He's just so JVD. agile. He'd be running around him. He'd be behind him. He'd, literally. Yeah, he'd be running him around him like a friggin' mouse, and then Steven Seagal <laughs> would squish on him. Yeah, this is David versus Goliath. Well, I don't know what you think about the Bible, <laughs> but like how that actually plays out is Goliath tunes up David. <laughs> In real Those are life. lies, fake news. Oh yeah, yeah. If there's ever been Andre the Giant versus one of Doink the Clown's midgets, and that's what <laughs> happened. Do Doink the Clown's takes it. I think I think Doink the Clown's midgets would take that one. Pal, pal, you're buddy. out. Of, you're out. Of your <laughs> bud, I gotta be honest. What do you think with his you? hair dye expenses? Who? Your Seagal. Seagal. His. It's like it's like a jet black. Oh, you're off dye. on that. He thinks about it. His hair turns color. <laughs> He he looks at he looks at his hair follicles in the mirror and he goes and it goes loud and clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, sir. If you want to be budgets, you should be worrying about his um, food budget. <laughs> <laughs> It is borst budget over in Russia. <laughs> that's the only problem with getting so Seagal. Money he's, on. he's a big eater. So I was thinking that that's crazy. Also, balls on Seagal, though, going like full in, like I'm joining the Russian military, essentially. Pretty crazy, yeah, considering what's going on. And like, uh, at what point Ukrainians is... Ukrainians are dead. He, he must get some dirty looks when he comes back to America now. Oh, yeah. He's a bit of a traitor. Well, 
but I guess he's what? What is his it's deal? His, he feels it's like his they, body. They feel like they turned his, like he's like America turned their back on me when they stopped letting like having my movies make a hundred million dollars. I think that is what like, it he goes like literally like yeah America turned its back. You on took me, away so. Under Siege, you're gonna be under yeah. Siege. Like I was just giving you literally like the greatest movie of all time every single time I made a movie. Yeah, and then you just like just disrespected me i agree that and is russia happened. when i make the greatest movie of all time it is the greatest movie of all time and they russia. respect it yeah <laughs> that's that's the soon he's like that's the deal he made he goes i'll train but like you know how you're putting people in jail for saying the wrong thing they're putting people in jail to say that like you know his 19th b movie that year was like <laughs> he got someone goes like a critic someone just goes it's critics right. are disappearing <laughs> yeah critics are disappearing and they're not even like saying it was a piece of shit they're just like yeah it was all right that wasn't that great. I don't know. <laughs> <Just> a little fat. <laughs> Some continuity issues and just disappeared. <laughs> That's what happens. Po just... Poison in your underwear. You're gone. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, that new Seagal movie wasn't that great. You just go. <laughs> <laughs> Not him. You With him, you do. <laughs> he just falls through the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to spy. Huffington Post had a really good one. Okay, ready? There's a big Trump gossip coming from Huffington Post. Ooh, I this... like some hot goss. We're not going to go into the article, but I just got to tell you the headline. Okay, so yeah. listen. This is what Huffington Post did, big drop. They go, a tape might exist of Trump doing something in an elevator, though exactly where that somewhere is and what that something might be, no one in media can say. That's because no one in media seems to have the tape or is even confident it exists. Wow, that's some hard-hitting <laughs> journalism right there. That's a hip, that's a, that's, that, that's that's a some kill, real, kill shot. Did they get a Pulitzer for that one? <laughs> That would be like you should find kill who, who wrote that. Um, like you should be like legitimately that. I'm person. looking at their tweet. Like, like tweeting. we should mail that person a fake Pulitzer Prize. <laughs> like we should literally like prank them and call them up, and be like, "Hey, this is the Pulitzer Prize." Society. How good is that? Yeah, <laughs> Someone's done that to museum. <laughs> uh, the, the, they said Vice is uh, down bad or not having to buzz is down bad right now. <laughs> that seems like a legit like a running that's crazy. That's like uh you like uh, the everybody saying AI is going to make headlines. That's like uh, a bad AI headline that nobody checked and just released. The AI headlines at BuzzFeed apparently are outperforming the people <laughs> headlines. Isn't that funny? Well, they're all fucking, yeah. I mean, that I believe. So they go, there's a tape that might exist that uh, says Trump's doing something really, really bad on that tape. However, we don't know what's on that tape and no one even knows if the tape exists. Do you have, the, like, <laughs> honestly, the only way you could publish that is if you have the tape. And there's some reason why you're not allowed to release it. <laughs> well, they... <coughs> oh, Vertigo's coming back. Uh-oh. Well, they said they... Uh, in they actually? No, it's uh -oh. not. It sort of came back a little bit the second day, then it f flighted. Yeah, let's... So I'm back to good. That stinks. I actually then, got... I, I took a Zin for the first time the other day. How'd you I, like that? I almost threw up. <laughs> Your body couldn't handle it. <laughs> I literally almost puked. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I, well, it was the one, the extra strength ones. I haven't had any nicotine for like 20 years. He saw Tucker years. Carlson take Literally, it. Literally, it, it was, it was from that. Tucker and then, got you on it? No, no, no. Well, he said that. And then on that podcast where he's like, it's the greatest thing ever. And then I was hanging out with Lev and Lev's doing them now. Uh -huh. And I go, I'm like, all right, I'll just try one. And then I put it in. And I was like, whoa. You, oh, did you do the man's in or the girl's in? The strong, the sixes. There's your problem. You need yeah. the ladies in. And someone said you're supposed to spit, spit them? No, you don't spit them out. Mm -mm. No. I wasn't. No, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah, I did it. And then I was, at one point I was in the bathroom and I was like, <clears throat> I mean, it's the only nicotine I've ingested in 20 years. And it was like, yeah. And then I was, I was, yeah. There's your problem. Yeah, you I'm, I'm retired. Lady boy Zins. I'm retired from Zins. <laughs> so there was, th th there's a, I got a whole flock of a uh, segment that I'm calling the horny women segment. Yeah. But before that, so Kanye West is back in the news, speaking mm. of Jews, right? Yeah. My so pe my people. Kanye West has a new uh, so Kanye West basically has a new um, uh, fashion line coming out and if you've seen it it's just socks for shoes yep so it's basically so, <laughs> so Kanye West what is that like, well, he came out with, after all this stuff he basically came out and he was like you know what forget all the politics stuff I'm gonna go back to my true love fashion then he just dropped socks for shoes is there any way that he's just because he's obviously a little loopy did he forget to put shoes on and then could just like, went with and it? And then they go, Kanye, what's going on with you? You're not wearing shoes? And he's like, No, these are my shoes. It's socks and oh, shoes. Yeah, you, you, that's what he goes, Buddy, is your fly undone? And you go, No, this is the fly this undone. Is, yeah, pants. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, these don't even oh, have you don't, Oh, my God. Do you oh, still think people put yeah, the flies yeah, yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's crazy that you think that. That was the first guy with droopy pants. How about or, or this? Or the first guy that ate breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for dinner guy. Breakfast goes, for dinner. Supposed yeah, to do. Go, are you confused about what time it is? What about this for a, a fashion line? How about yeah. this? Um, 
an undershirt that's an overshirt. So essentially, <laughs> you put your undershirt over top of your shirt. Uh, I like that. Boxer short shorts. So they're just bo- you just wear boxer shorts, but they're actually shorts. Yeah. Bur- mit, mit- <laughs> you got one? Go ahead. Mit- Bur- <laughs> <laughs> mittens for shoes, shoes for mittens. <laughs> really revolutionary <laughs> but did they fit the mittens are like designed because obviously a hand and a foot are kind of a bit of a different mm, design that's true so that's probably uh um, oven gl- oven mitt shoes oven mitt- i like oven mitt shoes <laughs> so but they still but they only have the single thumb those are kind of like the yeah uh, those like those toe shoes or whatever okay kind of like that. okay you didn't like that one coat that's a shirt I like coat. That's so you someone shirt. like it's just a t-shirt and someone says uh, that is, oh, bra, like bra a that's go, a top. Actually, bra that's a top. Yeah, Seinfeld did that, but okay. Hand shoes. That's another one. Just sort of a play. It's a play on. <laughs> it's a play, play on. There's only so many permutations <laughs> of things you can kind of rearrange. Bike with no wheels. We're about to. We're literally about to like come up with those pants that like <laughs> zip away the bottoms tear-aways. and just have short. That, yeah. No, not tearaways. The ones where they're, they're pants, but then they zip away into shorts. Saran wrap underwear. <laughs> No. So you wrap on your underwear. So basically, instead of having to change your underwear, it's a big roll of saran wrap, and then you can basically saran wrap on your underwear every day, and then you expo- you throw it out afterwards every day. Have you been watching fetish so you videos? Buy, you basically buy a big... Well, no one sees them, right? It's underneath. Yeah, yeah. That's still fetish material okay. right there. <laughs> well, that, you were thinking that. I mean, if you listen, if you want to use my product for that, you're well, more than welcome to. I mean, you know what? Speaking of saran wrap, though, saran wrap, uh, like like toques and, and like hats... Saran wrap hat. Because that actually will keep bottle in the heat, right? Because that's like, they don't breathe. Saran wrap do-rag. Yeah. So it's a do-rag, but it's a saran wrap sort of thing. So basically, and it's the sticky thing, so you basically just wrap up your head and that's your do-rag. Yeah, exactly. Or saran wrap turban. Saran wrap something. Saran wrap turban would be a good one, because a lot of people want to know what's going on under there. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like a... like one of those watches that have like the glass so you can see through. I'm listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like saran wrap. Saran wrap turban actually might be a thing. How about, that, that'll like cure xenophobia. How about sunglasses stuff? that are actually a bra? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I hate fashion. It's so fucking dumb. I'm actually, now that we say it, I do think he forgot <laughs> to put his shoes on. How about moon gloves? Like they're moon shoes on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. He must, Kanye Den- literally must just like be by himself sometimes and just like. Just Denture like, earphones. <laughs> <laughs> Denture earphones. He must just put a shoe on his head and just look at the mirror and be like, is this something? He's, he's like a big, is this something guy? <laughs> is this? He goes like, is this something? Do you think we have anything here? <laughs> he just taped a water bottle to his head and we go, do you think we have something here? <laughs> what, you, what about this? Is that, is that fashion? That was really good though. They had a in in one of the fashion models. You know how they have the fat fat fashion models. Yep. They had one fashion model that was one arm, and it was literally the shoe was like this. <laughs> it was, it was uh, Hank's dad from King of the Hill. I believe. Yeah. He was Got he was him. modeling the shirt. And it was just like this, yeah. and, and, there, and he was just like, and he was kind of looking cool too. You know what I mean? Like you know, modeling the thing. But he was just like, well, you're like you don't really know how it looks. I mean, I feel like that's kind of like punk ish. To have like a like a amputee. Okay, but you not when you're trying to look at what it looks like. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so if I was trying to do my saran wrap turban, would I have a guy with no head? <laughs> you get one of a guy who like just is missing. Like you ever see someone who's just like yeah, yeah, the weird half their skull yeah, removed yeah, yeah. or whatever. For That's not the guy I would have to fucking your hat model. If you want to have the no arm guy, get him to do the pants. Like it's pretty <laughs> simple stuff here. <laughs> I mean, that is a good do point. Do I have to be the one to say that it? That is a good point. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job, but if you want an ar- no arm guy, you make him do the pants. They're fucking running out of ideas <laughs> over in the fashion world, huh? They are really <laughs> running out of ideas. All like all the trendy people now just dress how everybody dressed when I was in high school. Like they're just they're they they did go around to that. Yeah, yeah. I was at some like bar recently, and some guy was was dressed out of like a straight up like ninety nine movie, like can't hardly wait or something. Like sure, the whole, the whole outfit, bleach blonde, short hair. Like he looked just, like uh, Mark. He looked like Mark McGrath. Yeah, like exactly. So. <laughs> The girls have been horny this week, and there was yeah. a lot of different things. So the first thing was, and this isn't even on the list, but there was like six different teachers last week that were arrested for smashing uh, dudes. Yeah. So I don't know what it is. Maybe for like fourteen-year-old dudes have just gotten like really good at getting pussy from the internet. Because like I feel like 
you know, I guess one way to say it is that the teachers are getting more, you know, whatever, like more horny. Yeah. But it's also possible that these 14 year olds just like they're watching, you know, Andrew Tate and they're like getting good with girls. That's a potential. Or maybe I, I can't imagine. Like, would you, the, I, you think I would, they're looking old? Would you have older? had the balls in a million years when you were in grade 11 to like stay after class in detention and being like, what's up, Miss Coops? Like, <laughs> Ah, hell no. Um, I want, you think it's the guys who are making moves on the chicks? <laughs> Especially in Jewish school. <laughs> She's got like the uh, Hey, uh, Hey, Mrs. Feldman. I'd love to see what's <laughs> under that wig. <laughs> She's like, it's, it looks exactly the same. It's the same hair. But just Feldman. under the wig. <laughs> How you doing, Miss Feldman? <laughs> uh, Daniel, we have to talk about your counting marks. You go, uh, Miss Feldman, yeah. If you want to count, how about count to one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about you count to four inches? <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Feldman, how are you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I always assume it was the women who were taking the shots here. It must be a little bit, but it's like, like the, the guys, guys have to be. I mean, I guess there's no, like, what is the penalty if you're a 15-year-old and you pa make a pass at your teacher? Like, you can't get suspended. You can that. definitely get suspended. What are you, crazy? But if you're, like, really, you don't, you're not overt. You're not like, hey, you want to go in the fucking closet and fuck? You're just like, hey, you're looking good today. Like, like you know, you kind right. of start plying them. Like, you would with any other woman. You just, you don't go, like, nuclear. You just kind of, like, feel it out or whatever. You give her when you're handing out Valentine's, you sort of drop on her desk and wait. Yeah, exactly. You know, and there's like a couple rubbers in there, and you go, oh, <laughs> oh, I sorry, we just had sex ed last period. Oh. Like, you know, those got mixed up. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Or am I embarrassed? I don't know. Oh, did I drop rubbers there? That's just because I had sex. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I'm a real man now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that I left rubbers in there. I just have a lot of those because I have sex. <laughs> Yeah, there are a lot of them. I I, I do wonder if, if uh, or or are guys like getting emboldened because they see like they're on the internet more and they see how many times this is happening. Yeah, well, exactly. It's Two, like the, and they go like, oh, like teachers are fair game. I think smashing teachers to the extent to which happening is guys running this the like the ten second what was it? Oh yeah, the four minute mile. The guys or, running the four minute mile. I yeah. think that's what it is. He goes, no one could ever be done. He goes, actually, it's been done like eighty times. And then you go, get me my condom. <laughs> So That's this is the for there's three or four in a row, man. I'm telling you, these these women are getting out there. Yeah. So the first one, I'm 53, single. I've never desired sex more, and it makes people uncomfortable. And it's a pretty good story. She goes, I'm 53 years old. I've been divorced for nearly nine years, and I've recently ended a relationship of three years. My kids are growing, and I have a successful career. What about those of us? And she's talking to her friend. She goes, but the, she doesn't like the way the women that are talked to when they're older. And she goes, what about us that still have all this libido? Um, whenever I'm around my friends who are over 50 and I want to talk about this, no one wants me to talk about it. <clears throat> <clears throat> So when I bring up the topic of sex with women who are friends that are married or ones that are single all in their 50s, I feel like a brick and it's uncomfortable. It seems the the cloud seems to descend. You know that pesky intuition that simmers when the surface that sends warning bells when you start to speak? You can just feel the energy change in the room. That's the feeling I get when I bring up the topic of sex, dating, romance, and love with a recent heartbreak with women my age. <clears throat> Dude, that guy dodged a huge bullet nine <laughs> years ago. That guy is probably like, I don't care. These alimony payments might be crippling me financially, but boy, did I dodge one. Well, and on top of that, is she like her biggest problem is that she's like the women around me don't want to talk about this stuff and it's just so funny like having the weekly meetup of like 55 year olds your book club and they're all just like <laughs> you know they're like yeah we were just watching this new like <laughs> yeah. fucking Hillary Clinton's biography yeah 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 and she's like we need something I'm fucking horny can we get something more sexy yeah she goes what'd you oh what'd you eat and she goes oh I went to a really nice restaurant the other day what'd you have last night dick okay, okay. <laughs> um Mary let's Again, if you don't mind, and she's like, I was thinking about, you know, anyone here want to tell stories about uh, getting railed? He's like, I'll go first. He's like, no, we're not going to do that. I got railed. <laughs> Yo, can we take a five minute break? I need to go masturbate in the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, so she's 50, like 55 years old, meeting up with like friends who are talking with their grandkids. Yeah. And she just can't. And she's wrote this article being like, what gives? Every time I meet up with all these old ladies, they don't want like, me talking about all the fucking cocks I'm yeah, sucking. Yeah, they're just like, they're kind of over this. So. She's coming in. She goes, tuned up last night. <laughs> she walk comes in with a walker. <laughs> yeah, walking into the book club, walking funny. 
<laughs> or she's like, hey, can I borrow your walker? I got fucking <laughs> reeled last night. Yeah, to me, that was oh. whatever. Maybe it took a long time to get there. But the <laughs> funny part to me was just like that she she's like a bro. She's like a 25 year old bro. Well, obviously, the answer is you need to find like swinger friends or you need to find like, you yeah, know, you're a swinger. You, you just have. Yes, there's you can or hang out with people a little bit younger, but it's like. If you at the same thing of any age, if you need the fifty-five-year-old guy that's just like nonstop, that's all you can talk about. Like, look at the fucking guns on that one. It's like, can we? One I can't day? imagine there's too many fifty-five-year-old dudes who are yeah, just like a couple. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, they're <laughs> they're not the norm. It's funnier with the church ladies though, just walking in and just like, how'd you guys do? And he's like, oh my grandkid, I just spent the day with him. He's just learning to walk. It's like that's crazy. I can't walk. Got fucking two dicks last yeah, night. Yeah, okay. Speaking of grandkids, someone's grandkids fucking plowed me last night. <laughs> Oh. Good God. <laughs> yes, we're not even really that relevant. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I went over to the bargain bin, and they've got some good bargains. Speaking of bins, I had to freaking <laughs> spit up my car. <laughs> Just everything. And she's uh. had to, to the point where she had to write an article being like, none of the old ladies want to hear about me getting railed. Society's freaking, <laughs> society should be telling them that they should be talking about getting railed more. <laughs> I hate this. Yeah, just uh, so this week we're going to be looking at uh, Arthur B. Bradley's new book, and she goes, "Yeah, um, could I uh, could I have some permission to speak freely last night? When mm-hmm. was the last time you guys got trained?" This is this this article was by uh, it's her first article too, so we got some more coming down the pipeline. I think this <laughs> yeah. is a smash shit for number one. She, she's so mad that people won't let her. Um, yeah, that people won't let her talk about like all the dudes that are railing her. That she had to start becoming a journalist. <laughs> a <blogger>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a journalist, but she became a blogger. She became a blogger because nobody will listen to her. Like literally, she's like not getting invited to the book clubs anymore. So she goes, you know what? I'm taking it to the internet. Fuck all of you. <laughs> Yeah, the internet. That is so true, though, because if you're like, no one in my social circle in the town that I live in wants to hear about like, how many fucking None du- dudes I've been guzzling. She's like, well, I'll tell you where we'll hear about it: the internet. <laughs> the internet. I'll eat that slop up. <laughs> Gonna take a quick second to tell the people about a favorite sponsor of mine, which is Fume. Cold turkey may be great on sandwiches, but there's a better way to break your bad habits. And we're not talking about some weird mind voodoo stuff. Woo! (laughs) Then from your crazy neighbor, from, you know, Kramer who lives next door, we are talking about fume they look at the problem in a different way now not every bad habit's wrong so instead of a drastic uncomfortable change why not just remove the bad from your habit you feel me Fume's an innovative, award-nominated device that does just that. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. Instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. You get it, got it good. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy. It makes replacing your bad habits easy. Now listen, everyone out here, you know, doing all sorts of bad habits. In my case, I switched over to Fume, have not looked back comes with an adjustable airflow dial. It's designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, which I like, giving your fingers a lot to do, which is helpful for de-stressing and anxiety while breaking your bad habits. It's four things at once here. I like the taste, and it comes with a bunch of different ones, and you can switch them up for variety. It feels really cool. It looks cool. And stopping is something that we all put off because it's hard, but switching a fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. So Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories. And there's no reason that can't be you. So listen, pop on over and check it out. You've got habits you're trying to get rid of. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use the code BOYSCAST to save 10% when you get the journey pack today. Also, it's a Canadian company, which is cool. And head to tryfum.com. And use the code BOYSCAST to save an additional 10% off your order today. Head to tryfume.com slash BOYSCAST to save an additional 10% off your order today. Next, we got to tell the people about Athletic Greens. Yeah. Athletic Greens, I use every single day. This is the first thing I do when I get up in the morning. It is a habit that is easy to keep because you look forward to it. 
Also, you're drinking something in the morning, especially if you do any sort of physical activity. Sure. I yeah. use it before I eat. Yeah, I, I had it first thing this morning. I also had it first thing this morning. We, it's got a tropical taste. This is a taste you're going to love. This is the taste of the people. The t- to die for a taste. To die. I take it every single morning, and you're giving the body the nutrition it craves, and you're covering your nutritional bases. Some people like me, it's hard to keep up with some big supplement routine with a bunch of different products, and it's hard to know where to start with supplements, who to trust. AG1 makes that easier. Why take a bunch of different things when you can just mix a scoop of powder in water once a day? It's the healthiest thing you can do in under a minute. AG1's been part of millions of mornings since 2010. You've heard Ricky Gervais talking about it. You've heard Joseph Rogan talking about it. All your favorite. Joseph. Yes, health influencers are on here. I'm always looking for life hacks, which is why I've come to trust AG1 by Athletic Greens. The all-in-one formula makes it easy for me to cover my nutritional bases every day. Every scoop is packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole foods sourced ingredients of the highest quality that give me major benefits like gut and mood support, boosted energy, and even healthier looking skin, hair, and nails. My AG1 is delivered to me every month, so it's super easy to make a daily habit. And with AG1, taking good care of my body each day is really that simple. If you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens has given you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash boyscast. That's athleticgreens.com slash boyscast to check it out. Here's another one. My wife is trying to rope me into exploring her sexuality. Oh God, <laughs> the guy blog. This is so. This is an odd one, actually. <laughs> this is a dude where you go like, I feel like he thinks it's a trap. You think like so? He, basically, his deal is his wife wants to have a threesome, and he's just like fifty five. He probably can't even get it up anymore. He's so fifty. He's just she's like, forty eight. They've been married for nineteen years, and it, she's now bi. Yes, and she goes, "I'm bi, and I want to have a threesome." And the guy's just like not interested. He goes, in it. "He's probably just like he's just like I want to be left alone." Like he's reached he's that over point, it, yeah. where being left alone brings him more pleasure than any sort of sexual scenario. Yeah. So she's like threesome, and he goes, "You two just go." Well, the problem with the th- I'll maybe meet up with you. Y- you are right but the exactly because the problem with being the like 50 year old like looking for threesomes couple the only real good ways to have threesomes is like you kind of need to be in the party scene and it just you know what i mean you kind of are like around some hoes you know what i mean because i know or you become full swinger and neither of those are that appealing to start you know what i mean that's why hollywood people it's a little easier because they're like at those parties still yeah your normal average guy isn't at a part most parties that a normal person's at you there's no girls around where you're just like you want to fucking come with us you got to literally do the thing where you go you buy a the- pineapples and you put them upside down on your front porch exactly and hope just like some or weirdos show so up. Th- in his mind he's like this is going to be a whole lifestyle switch because being Ooh. yeah lifestyle switch at 50 you're like the only lifestyle switch i'm doing is divorce i'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing fucking this <laughs> Well, it's not really that appealing to be the guy at the bar. I mean, it's a literal trope, the guy at the bar that's just like, you know, the guy that buys you a drink and him and his wife are looking yeah, at you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I have two or three friends. So I know two different types. I know both. I know the type that it was like guys that have had threesomes just because they're like around fucking, you know, people yeah. that be down. And I also know a few people that are like in the lifestyle. Yeah. And the in the lifestyle is undesirable. Oh, for so sure. So basically, and they they call them unicorns and they're all like, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a unicorn. It's like, it's literally two gross people like shacking up with some pig. You know what I mean? (laughs) (laughs) I I tell you, if you're you're the couple at the swingers party, you're not looking at a wall of tens on the counter. No, 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 definitely not. No. You are looking at, especially the type of girl that's there solo. So you can either be swingers where you're swapping around, cause, but like if you go to the swingers party, how many the amount of girls that are like I'm just here solo to hit a couple is few and far yeah, between. Yeah, that's that's I mean hence the the unicorn. Mom, so but. if you're not like some rich guy that's in the party scene, you got a big boat and girls could just yeah, come like, on. It sure. has to be structural like that. Yeah, you have to have the boat. Like that's like you got to live in Miami, you have the boat. You got to be just, the guy. You know what I mean? You got, it's a lifestyle choice to put yourself in those situations, or you have to be like. 
like essentially going to a lesion hall of creeps. <laughs> or you do like the resorts. That's even probably yeah. you know, like all your vacations are like tied to your swinging. Yeah. I guess, again, that goes back because if you got tons of money, you could, but again, you're still swinging. He's talking about a threesome. Yeah. If you go to the re swingers resort. Yeah, this guy's, that's the thing. Is like he's having this laid up for him like so. But he's not because she's not saying, hey, I found this girl and we want to have sex with you. She's saying like, you know, well, let's have a threesome. And he's like, yeah. And she's like, well, let's get to work finding one. <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess. Like, she might not be no spring chicken looking either, but she goes over to a girl and be like, maybe the two of us go home. And you're like, Ugh. Yeah, he's just like, <laughs> I, well, he's probably just like, yeah, in his mind, he's he's probably like, yeah, so you're going to find another 48-year-old woman to Lesbian. Have sex with? Oh, a 48-year-old lesbian to work with? And she's going to be like, oh, my husband's coming. And she's yeah, like, I you're guess. Just, you're just going to literally just like go sweep the floors of Home Depot to find some chick <laughs> to fucking bang wearing overalls. No thanks. Yeah, and then this guy's going to be there like, oh, okay, do I? Do I Go. <laughs> he just. <know. laughs> so I think it's one of those things where literally it's going to be you know they're going to go try and have threesomes they're going to be at the bar hey uh we been we think that you're attractive and she goes oh thank you and they turn around and we go okay so that well it didn't work that, okay. and then and then eventually he's just going to be like I'm getting too old for this they're shit. like both reading the game like. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out she goes uh should we learn like maybe a tandem magic trick we'll maybe do it maybe we both have a <laughs> you know maybe it's like a group thing yeah, it's just the, the guy coming back with the game he throws it in the garbage he goes it's broken <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to play <laughs> yeah the game's broken <laughs> it's rigged <laughs> he tries art of seduction <laughs> just yeah, trying everything different thing. <laughs> yeah, like, the, I hate this I like watching football more the couple just sitting in the bed together both reading the art of seduction <laughs> yeah so okay. you gotta go to your local tavern and then get turned down 80 times so. <laughs> yeah the only thing is if the girl was like I have it lined up it's this girl this is where she is she's like she, by and she's down she's crazy so like it really is yeah. like you want like she's a crazy alcoholic exactly you know what I mean so it's <laughs> <laughs> you, that's what that's, you need. That's the recipe, right? A there. crazy alcoholic that I started hanging around. She's a menace, but like at the end of the night, we could probably bring her home, no problem. Yeah. And then yeah. she, you wake up. She's like, "Oh, I have squatters, right?" <laughs> <laughs> she goes, "I live here now." You go, "Fuck." <laughs> Not worth it. This guy's probably playing out every scenario, and he goes like, "It's only a few scenarios where this is a good good idea, and there's most scenarios are a bad idea," in his mind. Okay, if you're not in the scene, I know people that are like good looking and have money, and it's hard for them to like properly pull off the threesomes. You yeah. know what I mean? Because it's really like scene dependent. Scene dependent let alone like fifty five average dude. You know, Barb and Chuck. You know. Yep. So I think I get where this guy's going. But more importantly, is interesting, the horny girl. Also, coming out as bisexual when you're 50 and married is always always funny stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that scene. I was once approached at a, me and my ex at a bar in uh, Madrid. We were at this hotel bar. By a girl. By a couple. Um, but that's No, that doesn't interest anyone. No, and then the worst was I was talking to the chick, and then she started telling me she they were older. like They're probably like 10 years older. They're from New Zealand, and the guy had an earring. Like It was like exactly what you think. <laughs> Too, and the guy had an earring, and, and, then, one earring. and then and then and then uh, <laughs> and then uh, she started talking about her like her she had like a uh, broken pelvic floor from having kids. And I was ah. like, yeah, I'm supposed to bang you later. Like, what is going on here? Like, I don't think I don't know if you read the art of seduction, but it doesn't include me knowing about your damaged <laughs> pelvic floor. <laughs> And then, and then at one point the guy goes. So he's like, "What do you say? We go up to a room and uh, maybe we watch these two. Uh, oh, yeah, the he accent. said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, "Maybe we watch, uh, you know, the two of them and have a little fun." And then, <laughs> and then I was like, "Um, hold on." And then, and I think I went to the bathroom. And then my ex. And then we ran away. Spanked one. No, out. we literally we ran. <laughs> We go, yeah, let me think about it. And then we ran away. <laughs> maybe we watch it on the East Coast. Maybe, maybe we and... yeah, watch it a little <laughs> shaggy. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I don't want to do this. I actually, <laughs> when I was with Maya <laughs> fucking like eight years ago or 10 years ago or whatever, right? This was at Pride. I think I, I've told you this, Pride, but we were at like some bar. And there's this girl, and then we sort of were like making out with her a bit, and we're like, it takes to go home. But the, she was a little older, but like hot. And then we're like we were on the dance floor, and I was just kind of around, and the two of them were dancing. And then she starts going, she's dancing, and she goes, Oh, she goes, both my kids are retarded. <laughs> <laughs> she starts. 
she, she legitimately she was like oh you from around here yeah i've got two kids they're both retarded and she told she told my ex- damn you know that was 10 years ago because nobody would say that during she, pride anymore maybe she said yeah yeah exactly <laughs> so she told her that both her kids are mentally ill and then we were, and we're like oh this is girls that maybe older than we thought <laughs> She's got two retarded and we're just like all right well all right. i'll see you later lady good luck with that good happy luck pride with and she was like you sure you don't want to go back i, I keep him in the cage it's all i don't <laughs> Interrupt us. They got muscles. You'll be fine. You're not going to get bit or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a southern accent in Toronto. <laughs> Boys, you're going to be fine if we just bring her back there. We got the kids in the old cage there. So. <laughs> And you know they they don't remember they got a real short they got a real bad short term so you know <laughs> if he calls you dad you just keep walking <laughs> yeah oh, so, oh, oh. definitely that's the type then Gwyneth Paltrow horny new girl number three what the fuck is this <laughs> what is this I couldn't this is one of those things where I'm like Gwyneth. What? What the hell? Like I don't, I don't know who's stupid. So Gwyneth Paltrow. Like the people who are buying this. Danny likes to insane. give a lot of commentary before he tells people what happened. <laughs> uh, it's it's called the teaser, Ryan. People are now <laughs> their interest is peaked. Their interest is peaked, and maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just leave it peaked. Yeah, maybe we'll just leave it peaked. Gwyneth Paltrow hypes one hundred and fifty dollars vibrators to wear around your neck. So she's. She's basically selling vibrators that you wear on your neck. It's just neck. like a little metal thing. It looks like now you can continue and... with the color commentary. <laughs> it's just like a little, a little chain, and then it's just like a little stick. Well, she's always up to friggin' wacky ass stuff, man. Gwyneth Paltrow is wackier than people give her credit for. Oh, way wackier. That's what happens when you grow up in Hollywood like that. But um, it is really every Hollywood person. It's like you know Dwight from The Office. He's been on the podcast yeah. circuit, and obviously, I really like Dwight, and I think that. Uh, Rain Wilson's like I even like other stuff he's done and I think he's like super funny and like honestly he didn't even annoy me or anything as a person like I actually liked him mm. but even even him was like everything he talks about was like you know and that's why we need to get in touch with our chakras of our body and like we're all just energy so when well we he's got, like he's just, a big uh, I know he's that he's but it was just high or whatever this new religion I know but it was just like is anyone in Hollywood not into some wacky shit like, uh, you know I'll tell I mean? you who John C Riley has this like down knows knows this and i guess it's hard when you're famous because you want to like get the adulation that that you get from being like this famous thing but john c Riley's like i don't want people to see me talking because i don't want you to know what i'm like for real because it'll ruin the character well it does it does that's true that's what i'm saying is like the more you see <laughs> rain wilson talk about this shit the worst the office probably yeah is. and it might not like ruin it for me but like I, will smith i like him a little less as a badass action star for sure it definitely like ra- raised it uh, lowered it a little bit 100 percent. and john c Riley's straight up thing he's like i think he did one i think he did mark maron's podcast like once and he's like this is it like i'm not doing anymore like that's okay. really smart that's a guy that cares about the craft or he does and he's like he knows that like his characters are all so much better when you don't really ever see him i guess it is intoxicating for like someone that's an actor and you go everyone loves me for this other thing and but i want them to think i'm smart exactly yeah you or go, like i'm more at the very this. least i'm more it's very yeah I'm more it's like this. who wants to be like legit like i mean every actor's fear is being typecast yeah. It's having a thing that's like so big, like your Kramer, maybe bad example, but like George, whatever. Like, so where they you go, want like, you can never. More. Yeah, they go, like, I'm not just this one character. And everybody's like, yes, you are. And they go, yeah, you're just this actor that plays lines. And it's like, well, I'm actually not this. I'm like a super intellectual or whatever. But it was just like, you know, I couldn't listen to it. I was just like, yeah. shut, who cares? <laughs> I don't know. That's a lot of it, too, is you're like, you're not even really saying anything to people. And the girls are, yeah, the girls are even wackier. Like, at least uh, Rain Wilson does seem like uh, intelligent. I'm sure if you're super into that topic whatever but some of these other people it's like it's just like you know they just have the wackiest opinions but they've never been told no so that's like a lot of them don't even have any pushback so it's like kind of like flimsy versions of like shit you've heard a million times from a 19 year old yeah and also but back to the vibrator necklace thing so this thing is 24 karat gold it's 200 bucks 150 dollars it's a 3.8 inch long pendant 0.5 inches wide what do you do if you you're out and you just see someone wearing this oh exactly who what kind of psycho like Dirt bag would wear. Can you imagine going on a date with a girl and she got a freaking vibrator? Vibrator. Necklace on? I mean, a first date you wouldn't hate that. Yeah, first date you go. All right, this is crazy. You don't want your wife wearing. You do. You don't yeah. want the wife wearing that. Oh, your wife wearing it is a fucking. <laughs> you know nightmare. what happens though if your wife if you're with a girl and she goes, oh, I'm putting on this vibrator necklace. You go, that's crazy. I'm wearing my flashlight chain. <laughs> Full flashlight. Full flavor flame. <laughs> giant auto blow. 
talking about the auto blow. The, a working auto blow. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got a fucking backpack power source <laughs> just to keep that shit going. <laughs> you got your necklace on. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I thought we're, we were doing sex toys. Yeah, we're doing a sex toy accoutrements, aren't we? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely what I... You gotta fight fire with fire. If your girl just wants to start wearing a freaking vibrator necklace, you gotta show up with the mother love. You gotta stoop to their level. Yeah. <laughs> but like, just so like an actual blow-up no, 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 Like, what do you see one... Give a foot fleshlight like, on the chain. <laughs> yeah, the vagina, jankle or whatever. <laughs> but like, so chick is wearing... Like, what if she's wearing one of these and you go like, there's like some crusty bits. Ah! <laughs> like some dried, like... Ah! <laughs> He's giving me vertigo again. <laughs> Gwyneth is giving you vertigo. Does she sell anything for vertigo? Does she sell some fucking stone you can shove up your ass to service <laughs> to fix your vertigo? Uh, I'm starting to go vertigo fund me to get this yeah. off the market, my friend. The funny, it's probably going to sell out too, right? Okay, so we got one, <laughs> one last horny woman yeah. from the horny woman segment. Is pregnant woman that got exposed. You sent me this this morning. Yeah. The pregnant woman that got exposed for attending two baby showers with two separate men. The fucking oh, balls the on this lady. Nerve of this lady, huh? So essentially what she did was she was going... Uh, she had a, had kids with two guys, and then instead of t- she told them they're both the father, and she still has just you know, she's been going down with this. And I guess her mind, she's like the guys are only going to come every now and then. I could probably pull this off. Yeah, but it does. It's the Chris Rock joke where he goes, "A man's lie is I was with James last night. A woman's lie is it's your baby." Yeah. <laughs> Dude, she's got this lady has some a nerve on her. Yeah, I don't. Uh, and then she got but she got busted. I know. Yeah, someone. Uh, there's a little, there's no, the sister of the guy. So basically, one of the guy's sisters, like somehow, because uh, fa- you know they're probably yeah. in the same community, and they saw another guy post her thing. Yeah, like you probably like just you see the Facebook post. It's incredible. You so like, it's a what? big bust from her. Oh, tough. oh, you know what? Interesting development right here. Very interesting development. One of the guys is wearing a Toronto Maple Leafs hat. Oh, it's a Toronto man's? I think this is a Toronto no, man. No, you telling me it's not even my baby <laughs> still, though, for real? Yo, honestly, yo, if is it my baby? And he goes, yo, you telling me it's his baby or my baby? For real, though, still, you need to actually decide, though, on the one, on the twos, Damn. though? Yo, I'm not even, yo, not even for real still kidding, though? You <laughs> actually need to tell me which baby it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's the really like the sad part too is that like you should be able for both guys to be like look we're both out like the law should allow them both to walk away from definitely this. should I'm but one of them that. is contractually obligated to stick around that's so that's crappy. like you're, you're like you're <laughs> cucked by the law here i know like, literally like like in this case trudeau's cucking you again well, they're not. Yeah, they're cucked. Dude, the law's been taking fucking sw- slices at men lately. I'll tell you. I don't know if you saw the soccer, uh, the Israel Adenasi, the yeah, UFC Adesanya, guy, right? Yeah, Stylebender. Yeah, Stylebender. So basically, uh, his wife is uh, he has a girlfriend, and they like broke up, and she's taking him to court. And I was reading the articles. I mean, well, well Godspeed for this guy. <sighs> but even in the articles, they were like, The girlfriend? You know, we don't really know what's happening. UFC fans wait patiently for an update, and there's more latest news, and I'm sure there'll be more information to come up to further contextualize the news. And you go, What further information? You're like, not married. Yeah, but I think that. Like, like, are we moving past. Like, I guess it's common law. Oh, common law. Yo, common law is the biggest scam going. Yeah. They and honestly you need they need to be more clear on common law where you're just like, okay, it's three years and then that's tough, eh? You with common law starts at three years and you're just like I think it starts at less than three years. The lease comes up. I think it's like six months. Yo, yeah. that's some I thought bullshit. In Canada it was like six months or something. Has any guy ever been able to pull that off where like he gets a famous girlfriend and like you know that's rich and lives with her for a couple years and then common law's her? No. Probably not. Probably not. No, no. They just be like, "What?" Yeah, exactly. I mean, imagine a guy, a chick's like you weren't even like. There's obviously instances where someone's ex husband like got like you know probably Tom Arnold or something like right. Well, the husband, Roseanne, of course. but yeah, they were a husband. Lots of those. But an ex boyfriend to be like, you know what? I deserve because I was around for the for the come up, dude. If that happens, I quit the world. <laughs> Are you kidding That's me? I'm out. Death. I, I'll, I will fake my death. I'll if they my, say that, yeah. oh, if you're with a girl... Johnny, delete what we're talking about right now. If you're with we can't a girl, fake our death and be talking about faking our death. That's that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty crazy, though. That's one of those ones where you go, oh, come on. Yeah. If, if he loses this... And he loses half of his UFC, but like, he gets kicked in the face 
for a living. She's just like, oh yeah, I made him eggs in the morning. Bitch girlfriend. Tiger That's- Woods' girl is trying to say that he harassed her now too. Yeah, well he he got she's straight- <laughs> she's coming out with all the. Well, stuff. she's coming. I mean, she, she wants thirty five million dollars or something because uh, I mean he, he got. Do you think that he can make the, the handshake lawyer, geek on? I mean, first off, he is the G of the century because he got his lawyer. To, <laughs> he got his lawyer to break up with her legitimately. She got a call. She had the airport. Got a phone call from Tiger Woods' attorney being like you're no longer with Tiger Woods oh my god which I always thought because you know it's like the hardest thing to break up with a chick it's just like it's I so know. hard and I always thought it'd be such a good idea if there's such a thing like a service yeah but he they like, a, like, a, like a like a yeah, surrogate breakup service breakup sur- surrogate I mean now that sounds like 45 different comedy movies from the 90s sure <laughs> but, but I don't know I don't know what the comedy movie actually I'll is I'll tell you what would happen is the professional breakup guy would fall in love with the girl that he's breaking that's up fine. with yeah, have that's her <laughs> <laughs> good I'm just saying that was what happened in the movie. That's fine. <laughs> well, yeah, obviously. Yeah. The, the breakup, but I guess that's what we're talking. The breakup guy's lawyer. got a lot of girlfriends. Like what I was thinking of, you go, yeah, that exists. They're high powered attorneys. Interesting. Who will eh? just break up with your chick. Here's yeah. your package. Yeah. You basically like you're getting fired. Yeah, you're getting fired. Security's going to escort you out. I will say the one fucked up thing with the time. And I, and I, and I emphasize the word escort because that's basically <laughs> what you are right now. <laughs> and I, not not because I am you know I'm a, I'm a Tiger Woods stan if you will, but uh, <laughs> are, are the you? one yeah but the one thing that is is kind of fucked up is like she worked for him that cardinal sin right there is she like they met when she was managing one of his restaurants and then then she stopped so he's gonna have to pay up for sure because like then she's like okay well I don't manage one of your restaurants because I'm now you know. <laughs> I'm your girlfriend, and why would Kyger was girlfriend be a restaurant manager? He's getting paid. Well, I mean, maybe not He's that. He's a billionaire. Could, he could have moved up on the thing. She could have been like the regional manager. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a single. I don't even think it was a chain. He goes, listen, you're not going to be the manager anymore. And she goes, thank you. He goes, because I have good news. You're going to be the regional you're manager. You're being promoted. <laughs> you're not going to be the manager of one restaurant anymore. <laughs> But you are going to be the restaurant manager of yeah. multiple restaurants. Yeah, but anyway, so she, and so obviously she can't go back to her job. Why not? As well, because her boss is her. Well, he could, he, but he could say like, "I'm not particularly involved in that." You can go back to your job; it's still available. Yeah, but she'll you. she'll get some severance. But again, severance <laughs> is like that's probably an eighty thousand dollar a year job that she had. No, so she, she's she wants thirty three million dollars or whatever it was because he said that she could live in his place in like his mansion or whatever for I think the term was like eleven years, and the cost to rent such a mansion is three million a year. So yeah. she's like, I want to live. I want the money that would cost to buzz live. off. Yeah, <laughs> scram, lady. You signed the NDA. Buzz off. <laughs> Whatever. She'll get if okay. Tiger Woods. She'll get a couple mil. Can take another quick second here to tell you about Raycon. Now listen, this is the option for earbuds that you're not breaking the bank on. You know, people have already probably know by now, but this is, sometimes you can buy Raycon earbuds, you can buy two pairs, and you'll still be better off than, you know, the chump that just buy one pair of some of these other brands. You shouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for a quality sound and essential smart tech listening features. This is a no BS product. Thanks to Raycon, you're paying half the price for the same. Raycon doesn't outsource their design and development of their earbuds. Their small but mighty team of design audio engineers cut their teeth at brands like Bose and Peloton, but now they are at Raycon, changing the game. Raycon knows that in this economy, you know, Joe Biden's economy, Joe Biden. to be specifically, every purchase needs to be perfect. They offer buy now, pay later options, so you can pay as low as $18 at checkout. And now you can get two years of product protection insurance for just a few bucks. They offer free domestic shipping and you can get internationally for a flat fee. They have easy and free return guarantee and they've got over 50,000 five-star reviews. Noise isolation, awareness mode, custom gel tips for the perfect, most comfortable in-ear fit, crystal clear call quality, eight hours of playtime for everyday earbuds. So listen, if you if you hate money, then maybe this isn't for you. But if you like a good quality headphone at an affordable price, go to buyrakeon.com slash Ryan Long for 15% off your order. Plus get a free domestic or flat fee international shipping brought to you by Raycon. We have... A new term alert. Are you ready? Are you ready? So, 
So it's not similar to Bugman, really, as much as I thought. But basically, on the internet, a lot of people have been getting called Wet Lettuce Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like it could be similar to Bugman. I th- that's more what I thought. So when I first thought, they go, Wet Lettuce Man. So there, there's articles already defending Wet Lettuce Man, which made me think that it isn't Bugman. Because I'd, it seems just like a good guy is a Wet Lettuce Wet man. Lettuce Man are hotter than alpha males. So I, I thought it was two things. Essentially, because you know what they do? When they're talking about wet lettuce men, and the big thing is they go, this is, you know, why isn't Neil coming out this weekend? He's washing his dog's hair. Fucking wet lettuce. So this is the what Urban Dictionary describes it as. But it's been getting hot on it's the literally internet. literally a, a straight guy in a dress. It's a metrosexual or a actual gay guy. Because they keep saying, they go, look at all these men. The girls, like, they like Harry Styles. Is the, Harry they're, Styles is the they like thing. Yeah. In all of these articles, they show. And Harry Styles, by the way. It's one thing if he was like, you know, trying to do the rock and roll thing or whatever. This guy is literally just wearing like a old woman's blouse now. <laughs> he's really out of control with That's his what Marie, Our boy Marito is doing forever though. I don't know <laughs> if he still is, but forever he was just like, was going to like a uh, vintage store. I don't really or remember the blouse. Oh, really? He was legitimately just like wearing women's blouses. Like I was like, I remember seeing him one time. Like in a stylish way? Yeah, yeah, he's a very it, stylish guy. But is that what it was Lopez supposed to be? C- c- comic, yeah. But I, I remember seeing him. I'm like, my grandmother has this. Like literally, like and he was shoulder like, pads. And he's like, this is the new drip. He's just like he. Well, he's a very fashionable dude. He just wears all sorts of shit. But yeah, <clears throat> he was wearing just like w- grandma blouses. Well, that's what Harry Styles is doing. Yeah. It's like legitimately, he's wearing a nun's outfit. Should we wear those? It's not the one. It's like it, it's it's set up where it like has the you know flannel, but a little part co- covering the breasts or whatever. Yeah. So every article, whenever they go, oh yeah, we don't like wet lettuce men. Explain that we like Harry Styles, and the on obvious answer is that yes, girls like anyone where it's working. Try to be the fucking you know. Try to be the guy that's like the random guy. That just wears like uh, all women's outfits. Like you need to have some sort of like social status. <laughs> By the way, the, there's a fo- <laughs> there's a photo in this of Lil Nas X. Yeah, then there's another with, guy's uh, a gay guy with like a tube top on, <laughs> holding his chest with like a wig, and it says a wet lettuce man is actually a huge turn on. And he's like, like look at this photo. To who? Don't tell me girls like that. He's hell no. The, yeah. He's gay. Yeah, they have. It's a <clears throat> legitimate gay guy wearing a tube top. And look, Harry Styles. The stuff is, you see walking around. The thing the is, West Harry Village. Styles is not going to be like this permanently. Like at some point, Harry Styles will be like, "All right, that was fun." Well, you obvi- at some point you age out of that sort of shit too, right? Like that stuff's a lot more cute when it's f- when you're 25. When you're like 75, like I don't know if you know, like there's there's a few people that I've follow for music and they're like pushing 50 and they're still just wearing all that stuff and it yeah. was like it really really looks like a, a fat dude in a dress like yeah it's impossible for it to not just be comical yeah for sure. and you're like oh that's funny and he's like funny i'm expressing myself and you're like Ugh. i mean like seeing alice cooper with like the like alice cooper is the is the like best example of because you don't need a radio show forever uh, like, i didn't oh so alice, alice i don't know if he still does we had a radio show for a really long time and you know, he has this whole persona. Like when I was a kid, you're like, "Oh, Alice Cooper's like this badass, like biting." No, like, he's like blonde. this intellectual. Yeah, but then the more you know him, you're like, "You're kind of like a dweeb." Oh, really? What do you mean a dweeb? Like he's just like he loves golf, and you're like, he's just like an old oh. man. But then he's like, you see him in an interview right now. He's like 75 with like his weird makeup on, and you're just like, I don't know. Well, the like, state, oh. the makeup gets... dressed like he's 30, and you're like, I don't know. Well, that's why I told you there was one time I was on tour when I was younger. I, I can't remember what let it what it was, but one of the bands had to do makeup, and I saw the guy arguing. With his wife with his makeup on before he was going on stage. Uh, I can't remember exactly what he was like. I'm, I'm missing one soccer practice. You know, what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's like no, real normal shit. Yeah, yeah, like super normal <laughs> shit. I always just, yeah. Well, that's why I was I was laughing at the idea that do you know how um, uh, basically um, you know how like every award show, you know, like the Sam Smith and all that sort of stuff, right? Yeah. Like it's all. All of the that sort of like devil stuff or even though the aggressive sex stuff just became so mainstream that made it not cool. It used to be like, do you remember when we were, we were like, when we were whatever, I don't know, maybe it was high school, but Alanis Morissette swore on the award show and it was like a huge deal. She was supposed, she was supposed to go, and when you're thinking of me, oh, when yeah. you fuck her. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she like did the swear and she wasn't supposed to and it was like a big news. Now before those things, it's like, 
All right, everybody. You've got like the stage hands walking around. Like, all right, we, we, we're starting in two. We need the inflatable penis. Everyone get the inflatable <laughs> penis on two. Who's got the... They, turn every, they basically turned them all into guar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's going to control the button that uh, shoots the blood out like cum? Okay, we Who's... need the blood cum. Uh, we're starting in three right after the best <laughs> album for best family album. <laughs> we got best family album. Okay, you know, it's all the stage yeah. hands running around. Make sure that we got... And do we have the big vagina? Madonna's going to come out of the big vagina. <laughs> That's like that's like you know the family music awards or whatever, right? <laughs> which makes it like so much less cool when it's, it's so corporate. Wet lettuce. So that, there's a bit of that with the corporateness. So that's oh, wet lettuce man's by our chick Mary Madigan. Oh really? Yeah. But I thought so. She, so she likes them. She's but I thought it was kind of a little more of a bug man situation. But they're really saying so. They go, um, when a man introduced me to the wet lettuce, men who don't know how to be men anymore. He elaborated, but these kinds of men. Um, are actually the kind that don't always pay for dinner and tend to take on more of a domestic load. I was like, let me be clear. Little Nas X and Harry Styles ain't touching a dish. Hell no. You know what I mean? This is where it's like... For a photo shoot, maybe. Yeah, they're so all over the place because they're like, we like wet lettuce, man. What about Little Nas X, a gay guy, and Harry Styles, like multi-millionaire musician? And then it's like, so, yeah, and what is a wet lettuce, man? It's like a guy who, like, you know, stays at home, does the dishes. You go, oh, yeah, okay, not Harry Styles, Yeah, not man. Harry Styles. Sounds like a bit of a bitch to me. Well, know. yeah, what they really mean is, like, they're just being, like, a guy that doesn't have money and will do, do work yeah do whatever you could just bitch them around and they'll just do whatever and do your chores for you and yeah literally yeah i mean i don't do either i don't do the man's jobs or their goods <laughs> i go <laughs> more of a eunuch i go listen <laughs> i go a man's place is not in the kitchen or the garage <laughs> <laughs> I'm at my workstation. It should not be a man's job to be in the kitchen fixing food or be in any other room fixing anything. No. No. I'm a I'm a both. So this guy seemed to believe that girls wanted alpha males and not equal contributors. But only you only have to look at the most famous men to see where the cultural shift. And it was just like, what are you talking yeah, you're about? You're talking about two guys. They're talking about One famous of gay. people. They're talking about famous gay guys yeah. being like but this is where I went back to me. It's like I think what they mean is like a metrosexual. It's like yes, I like a like I like a sort of like feminine gay guy when he's rich and successful. No one likes the famous. No one really past you know twenty really has a big heart on for the fucking the feminine like gay guy that works at Target. No, no, not you're not holding them up as some sort of icon no unless you're just like totally in that world right yeah and then you're just the guy that's dressed in a certain way because the girls like it in that scene right we want men to express emotions push back against gender norms and a good communicator so she's turned the wet lettuce thing into being like oh we like men who are progressive that's what's really yeah, she's kind of saying i don't even understand what wet lettuce means. just look at the legions Is that of men australian lingo i guess Must yeah be. i don't know but look at the legions of men who are obsessed with sean mendez and you're just like are legions of men obsessed women with i guess sorry oh <clears throat> legions of women All right. I mean, but yeah also so like a honk who can it's turning and it's jacked and rich the moral of wet lettuce men so wet lettuce men i guess <laughs> is when you're when your boy's doing i think that how would you or me would use it is you're like uh you're like yo you coming out everyone's partying you're like ah my girl's got me going to a baby shower you go fucking wet lettuce fucking wet lettuce yeah it's definitely to a me it's more like that you go this wet lettuce dude yeah, oh, we got some. We got some wet lettuce. Yeah, on our hands. we should. We we should start using wet lettuce as the slur it should be. It's, it actually sounds like a pretty good slur yeah. to be like, "Oh, I can't do that. I'm wrapping presents with my girlfriend." It's like, the new. Whoosh. It's the new whoops. Yeah, yeah. Whipped. Sorry, my girl's got me in the kitchen with an apron. You know, cooking his and her meals. <laughs> Wet lettuce. Man. Wet lettuce. Wet lettuce. Man. Whereas they're turning it into like a rich gay guy that also does the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> So they like a guy that bakes bread and doesn't worry about his masculinity. Well, it's like, yes, they generally like the, any guy when they're killing it. And then they, and then she got on about how Andrew Tate and guys like that sort of ruined everyone. And she goes, but women aren't buying into it. We want men that do housework, clean, chat. It's like, I, I'll say it for the third time. Little Nas X ain't doing housework. No, 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 no. No, he's not. The emotional man ain't free, just like the fun girl ain't free. Nothing's free. Nothing in life is free. No, wrote that right now. Oh, you great. want it? I'm okay. I buy it off me. <laughs> can I license it? You can license it. I don't want to own it. I just want to license Nothing it. Nothing in life is free. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just licensed it to Bud Light. 
was always laughing because like I watch Yellowstone. Yeah. And I talk I talk about it a bit on stage, but like it just makes me laugh on Yellowstone. It's like it's just all the manly stuff that it's the the amount of stuff that's not manly is like, you know, a man that cannot saddle a horse is not a man at all. And you're like, where I live, men can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> or don't if you can drive if you can drive a, a like a, a manual if you can drive stick shift they make you the mayor yeah oh, for sure <laughs> you oh, get to be sure. that you get to be the head of the fucking construction union if you can drive stick shift where i live yeah i imagine new york must have the highest concentration of people uh, like adults without driver's licenses and probably uh, like of course america or maybe like the world oh, I, me and you went from driving every day of our life but i still, to have, never a li- but I still have a license i'm talking about unlicensed yeah, well, yeah, I, I drive stick. You can't do that. No, I can't do that. I mean, I can, but... Well, well I'm not talking about the stick you're talking about. <laughs> I'm a lettuce man. <laughs> of the wet variety. <laughs> Ask me anything. Um, am Are I the... Okay? A- or, sorry, no. Am I... <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh this is... All right. Um, I'll show you my O face. <laughs> <laughs> Want to hear my haunted O face? Yeah. Oh, 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 is that getting blown by a ghost? That's getting blown by a ghost. Mm. Oh, <laughs> spooky! It's a spooky blow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, spooky blow job is through a glory hill. Speaking of, or no? I actually was. Uh, it wasn't. I was gonna just say, am I the asshole for not wanting to share my name with my trans friend? And nothing more than that. Then I just like that's so funny. He was like, you you were friends with a guy, and he like if you transitioned right now, and yeah. you're like, oh, I guess it doesn't work that way. It's like I'm a girl, okay. and you're my friend, and yeah. then you transition, and you go, my name's. I'm just going with your name. <laughs> Okay. You go like it's a, the girl's name's Amanda. Yeah. The guy's name's Danny. Yeah. And then Danny transitions and she goes, Oh, what's your girl name? He goes, I'm thinking Amanda. And she goes, But that's my name. He goes, oh. yes, we're both Amandas. <laughs> seriously? <laughs> You're seriously gonna use my name, huh? Yeah. And the girl's not happy about it, but she doesn't want to do things you know, anything's revolving trans people, you're always like think you're walking on eggshells. Yeah, I go. <laughs> Say something, Amanda. But that's fucking so say something. <laughs> Transitioning and then choosing the same name of like your <laughs> best friend is like fucking winners. On that topic, there's an Oscar winner. She goes, Oscar winner shares that my children are all queer. So she's got three or four fucking <laughs> queer kids. What do you think the stats are on that puppy? I honestly, my <laughs> first thing is I go, what are the odds? Well, I mean, even if you accept the current odds of like one in five, which is definitely inflated. But, yeah. But even if we say one. Well, let's do it. Okay, so it'll be one, have four kids. It's like one in 125, we, right? we go. We'll give her 20% odds that your kid's going to be gay, right? So, yeah. Okay, so we go. Is it one in 20. 125? So we're giving her one in 20. No, it's going to be more than that. So um, basically your odds of having a gay kid at this point, we're, and we're being very generous by saying one in five. Yeah. Okay, so basically, so if we have four kids, it'll be point two times... Point two times point two times point two equals. So it's uh, no, um, two minutes. isn't it one f- over five times one over five times one over. That's five? what I did. Point yeah. two. So it'd be one over twenty five times one over one hundred twenty five. Yeah, but this is this. Yeah, yeah, this one, is it. yeah. So it's basically less than one percent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So then you would do divided by one equals. So it's point zero zero one six percent. Yeah, it's. So the, so the chance is astronomically less than 1%. What are the odds <clears throat> if you factor in that your mom has the word gay in her name? What's her, what's her mom? How does her mom have gay in the name? Marsha Gay Harden. <laughs> and hard. <laughs> I didn't know that. One in four million? <laughs> <laughs> her mom's name is Marsha Gay Harden? Yeah. That's not true. Yeah, it's Marsha Mar- Gay Harden. Stop it. Yes. Your mom's name is... No, I, I didn't mine. see the girl's name. So you have a girl... I didn't. Yeah, not mine. <laughs> not mine, man. Oh, no, your mom, maybe. So she, her name's Marcia Gay Harden. She has four gay kids. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. Come on, that's yeah. a glitch in the matrix. That's... And all yeah. their na- last names are gay then too. Yeah, Gay Harden. So you have four. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. This is where those one of the ones where I go. There's probably a god because they. <laughs> This is God throwing a little something down for the boys. He's sprinkling a little fun for you. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Come on. Yeah. Oh, she, what she went. Oh, she went. She was in Mystic River. I forgot about that. Good movie. Yeah, yeah. She has. Uh, she has four gay sons. Three or four, but either <laughs> it doesn't matter. But 
So the uh-huh. odds on that are very astronomical. But the th- the fourth one, you know, it's the little brother syndrome. And the little brother goes, I'm gay. You're like my big brother. And then he goes, oh, okay, fine. You could be gay too. And then the third one's gay. Yeah. And then the third one, the fifth. I mean, I literally, this is obviously, but I had a, a trans uh, woman who's like all against all this shit on Low Value Mail yesterday. And then someone else called in. And this guy, uh, he's from Belgium. And he has two kids, 15 and 16. And he's like, they're both girls. And he's like, one of them is goes by he, him pronouns. And the other one's a lesbian lesbian and he's just like this is no way like it's just like it's obviously a social that contagion. being said i'll give it more i mean it's two no but they're twins no they're not twins oh never mind no they're 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 one year apart oh i thought you said twins no Sorry. they're not twins but but uh no, i'll come back with you yeah yeah but he's when you're like, saying twi- you but he's just like saying. he's like the one was lesbian and now they're they have a boyfriend and they're like over it and the other one's like i have he him pronouns you're like but presents as like you know a chick and he's just like he's just like it's crazy you think the dad? <laughs> he's, and he's, yeah, yeah, you think he's, the dad's got gay sperm? I'll ask him. <laughs> That's one of those things where the dad, after you have four gay sons, and then the, the uh, like, it's one of those things where I, I don't just, think anyone cares. Like, I mean, I couldn't give two shits if I had like a gay kid or whatever. No. But if you have three gay kids, that fourth gay kid comes out, you go. No, 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 no. We're going to the friggin', you know what I mean? We're yeah, going yeah. to the- <laughs> <laughs> no, You're probably you're, at that you're point. You're entering monster trucking at day one. <laughs> you're going to friggin' army camp. <laughs> I'm not letting that kid yeah. anywhere near RuPaul's You're like, uh, what color should we paint the nursery? It goes, we're fucking blue, okay? <laughs> <laughs> then it turns out to be a girl, and then you got a lesbo. Ah, ah, you got a lesbo on your hands. <laughs> he's he's got the game up to the belly. Yeah. He just play. He just play Andrew Tate. sports highlights yeah. up to the belly. Just showing Andrew Tate videos. He's like, we're not going four for four here. Our name's already gay. This is too much. <laughs> That's that is fucking. But yeah, you're like, I can you know, see you obviously four her. Guys. <laughs> it's obviously her doing. Well, but that's the thing though, because they say that there's like it's biological, right? I mean, yes, but obviously what's going on now, like, I mean, we were saying it was biological 10 years okay, ago. Okay, but by that- Now we're in social By that territory. logic, the dad's got gay sperm. Yeah, 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 for sure. He's the big old gay <laughs> I sperm. I love it. I'm not buzzing. Like, you think he's just like, you think he's uh, probably Daniel, like in tatters, like being like- I'm doing a gay sperm act out. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I keep doing it. Yeah, okay. But like, you okay, think- Okay, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, do you do you think though there's Ooh, like look uh, at these eggs I could eat? <laughs> <laughs> nom 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 more for me! <laughs> oh my god, my head is fucking stuck in an egg! <laughs> <laughs> I already ate that. Fuck it. Seems about right. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Yep. Um, um she's dead. married to a prop master. Is that a gay job? Yeah, it's kind of a gay. <laughs> <laughs> little like the you know Lord. what some things are starting to uh, <laughs> some things are starting to come out <laughs> give you yeah. a little light in the lovers if you're a prop yeah. master depends what she's a prop master on I guess mm. if you're like prop master on like you know action movies you're oh you know what actually something like that this. is if you're a prop master on the princess brides putting together wedding invitations so the dad split in 2012 so that's I feel like a factor okay he, dad comes home yeah, he, goes, he goes who the fuck touched my props <laughs> Yeah, he he left for a couple of years. Oh, twins back. too. He has a twins. So now we want to do the the um the statistics. So two gay twins. I give the twins a little higher. Having higher, you think so? Yeah, that's my yeah gay. higher. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm giving the twins. So higher. it's it's more of a yeah. No, no. I'm saying it would be more likely to gay. T- I thought that well, there yeah, was be- not um. There, well, I don't know. I feel like they do the twin studies, and they always kind of. I up. thought there's tons of studies though where there's like one's not and one is. No, no, I'm not. Well, that's still more likely than not. Right. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying yeah. it's more like two random people both being gay is a lower percentage than two twins being gay, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, I wonder. You know. Yeah. yeah. But you'd know. also say it's lower percentage that they're gay. Period. Because if they do have a gay gene, they split it, so they only have half. <laughs> Now we're getting into it. Now we're getting into the weeds. That's more science. This isn't a science this podcast. Is a science podcast. <laughs> that's just too much. We're getting, you know, that's like sort of above our viewers. It's more heads. like an acting out sperm, <laughs> gay sperm podcast versus a science podcast. I get it. Yeah, but anyways, the dad, the dad rightfully skipped town. <laughs> he went to get a glass. Nonsense. <laughs> went, to, went to get a glass of milk. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably like he probably left because he goes like you know what I gotta go impregnate someone else just to know just to figure it I out, gotta yeah. know he goes we're, we're done because obviously you only 
pump out gays <laughs> and it's fucking with my head so i nothing wrong with it but i gotta go find someone new and just to see just gotta is this me or you yeah for just peace of mind yeah obviously yeah the answer is that that, that is a very encouraged you know, that's a very encouraged idea in the household yeah imagine being the how much of an outcast you'd be as like the one straight son like coming in just like you know working in the catcher's mid and the mom's just there like <laughs> what the fuck is this shit goes, go to your room you're grounded what yeah. did i do you, you don't have gender know. norms in this household the guys do girl shit the girls do guy stuff put definitely she puts like the guys in ballet she puts the girls in lacrosse you know yep yeah yep 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 okay so there was this <laughs> There's this woman, right? You following? Okay. <laughs> you following so far? But okay, so this was in scarymommy.com. Mm -hmm. But I really like this because so this woman, she decided to do basically an experiment because she says her husband, it's on it's kind of on the lettuce ca category, right? Yeah. Like lettuce category. She says that her husband uh isn't doing enough, you know, chores or whatever. And she she goes, A woman decides to cook dinner. Uh, to not cook dinner to see what her husband will do. And she said, a mom fed up with the patriarchy brackets, aren't I hate we the all? Patriarchy. Yeah. yeah. Decided to put her husband to the test by conducting a little experiment to help prove her theory that women do everything and men are just as incompetent as she thinks they are. So she's coming into this hot with not like a man, right? Yeah, yeah. She hates <clears> her husband. <throat> Her, kid, yeah. her male kids. It is, yeah. I, 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 that is like toxic behavior number one, obviously, when people say like you do these like, well, maybe we'll see what happens if I just maybe uh, stop, you know, I'll put my clothes on the floor and see how she likes that. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'll just leave all passive, my clothes on. Very passive aggressive. It's the most though. passive aggressive shit ever. So I guess she makes dinner and she goes, what if I just don't make dinner? And basically the guy didn't notice. <laughs> she got really mad about it. Yeah. It's The moral of the whole thing was it's like, it's a girl getting mad at just how easy it is to keep a guy yeah, happy. She, yeah, she just, yeah, yeah. She just wanted to see like, so what happens if there's no dinner at 630 and the dude's just like watching the game? Just be like, yep. Yep, yep, yeah, yep, yep. it's ba the gist yep, of what happened. Yep. She's like, "Are you hungry?" He's like, "What?" No, I, I could eat. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. She goes, oh, "I'm not making dinner." He goes, "Okay, I'm fine yeah, on that yeah, front yeah. too." Then, so she puts this experiment together, right? And she's going viral. So on top of that, there's the added component that you got your wife on TikTok being like, "I'm going to do experiment because this piece of shit, you know what I mean?" Put you on blast. I'd assume this guy doesn't have TikTok though, so that's good. The experiment shows that men would rather starve than make their own meals. And by the way. <clears throat> I'm in this category a little bit. Yeah. I've actually had similar things in this because I always say, I go, you know, I like, I want this. I want this. I don't care if you make meals. Like yeah. I actually, I've never, I always tell a girl like to be sometimes honest, it's sort of a pain in the ass a little bit because they all, they make big meals and I can't control my portions. You know what I mean? Mm. So if I get like a, if, if you're dating a girl, like that's how you get fat is like dating a woman that like makes these extravagant I'm, meals I'm mostly cook night. in my house, so I'm mostly the cook, so. Yeah, wet lettuce, man. Wet lettuce, man. But for me, I go breakfast. Uh, you know what has always bothered girls that I date? Yeah. Is that I do most can of beans no, for breakfast. Most days I do cereal. <laughs> And I just, I do, I have one bowl, one spoon, and I just put it in the same thing, and then I finish it, wash it, put it back, and I don't put it in the dishwasher. I just, yeah, walk. that's fine. One I mean, bowl. Why would you put a single bowl in the dishwasher? Right. So they're always like, and they'll always be because like, why don't you do the, the dishes or whatever? And I'm like, I have one bowl and one spoon. <laughs> Like, why am I doing dishes? Like, everything here you use. I have yeah, one bowl you, and one spoon. I don't, I never order food. Yeah. So all of the fucking, all of it's everyone else's. Uh huh. Yeah, one, it's all yours, yeah. One bowl, one spoon. So I'll eat that, and then for you know lunch, if anything, I don't eat, or you eat one of those normal meals, and then dinner I usually eat out yep. because at comedy clubs or whatever, something like that. So it's like, I've... So this Good is... Good system. Basically, it's she's... Like a very like, streamlined, simple It is a little system. streamlined, yeah. Yeah. I so, like But the, the gist of it is it's a girl trying to get credit for something that the guy doesn't care about. Yeah, for in sure. In this specific scenario. I'm and, sure. Well, he's just like, I don't want this to be... He's like, if you're going to make... Obviously, he does all sorts of shit. Like, I'm sure there's no scenario where the guy goes, yeah, I'm going to let the fucking grass grow on the lawn until you fucking can't walk through it and see if she says it. And obviously, she's going to Maybe it is. Maybe that's the passive aggressive thing. And like, yeah, but probably but like, not. there's no scenario where he goes, look, she's not saying anything. Like, uh, fucking oh, yeah, instantly, she's you bitching about her? it. He oh. goes, what are you fucking not doing the thing or whatever? Like, I thought that was your deal. You do the grass. I make the food. So he's just like, yeah, that's our deal. Like every relationship has, has like, a deal. Has a deal. Everybody's like, you do this, you do this. It's like generally there's just I know. like responsibilities. I don't know. And it is, it is one of those things where I'll be like, 
It, it, why don't the doctors be the lawyers and the lawyers be you know the doctors? He's probably like yeah. why don't the lawyers be the farmers and the farmers be the lawyers? He's just like yeah, I work because we need farmers. Yeah. <laughs> That's the answer to yeah, that yeah. question. <laughs> he's probably just like yeah, I, he's like yeah, you make dinner because I work, and you've been working on your screenplay for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> you said is almost done for the last four years. It's actually worse than that, though. He's like, <laughs> well, I make dinner because I've been working and you're making TikToks about how bad I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I was just thinking because I had a pretty hard day at work today and yeah. you were at home making TikToks about what a piece of shit I was. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because you know, like at my job, people, strangers come up to me. <laughs> And they know me as this piece of shit hey, on the, the internet. Guy fucking doesn't thank his wife for dinner. <laughs> he goes, and I buy the food, <laughs> and so I feel like it's a good deal if you know you maybe like make it, which you have been doing. Honestly, it's but the, been fine until you started making TikToks. But the funny part is that what you're just saying right now isn't what's happening. What's actually happening is she's making the food, and he didn't notice. She, yeah, she didn't even say what you just yeah, said. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. He's <laughs> just like, sure. He well, said no. that would be me. I'll never notice anything like that. You well, know what I mean? Well, like food not being ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I also think he's probably a little savvy. Like he's there's a little gamesmanship on his part. He's hungry. <laughs> Possibly. He's going to like the basement to sneak like some snacks because he's like, I'm not even. There's you no way to, I'm bringing you this up. You have to be on effect. He goes, he that. goes. This is for a TikTok or something. He's like, <laughs> fucking no way. <laughs> she, she, I'm not biting on this. <laughs> she walks in. She goes, How you feeling? You package it all? <laughs> like, there's nine cameras. <laughs> It's like nine <laughs> ring lights flip on. And goes, yeah, no, yeah, he goes, I'm all right. <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> she got the video set up everywhere. <laughs> There's like a guy with the plant on and the plant and the plant hat on. <laughs> oh. He goes, no, good. No, no. <laughs> so sometimes when I've absolutely had a fucking enough of being a woman, <laughs> this girl's had it up to here with this guy. I like to conduct a gender-based experiment to prove to myself that all women, in fact, do everything. That men have no fucking initiative, and the patriarchy is a fucking hot bag of dicks. <laughs> She's coming out hard on this shit. It's so funny because when he's had enough of, of being a husband, he doesn't not do a thing. He kills himself. <laughs> he commits suicide. <laughs> she just doesn't make dinner one night and makes a TikTok about it. Another 30 minutes later, she and her husband are still unfed. So she was 30 minutes in right now. The clock's ticking. She comes in. Dinner's 30 minutes late. Like he brought, Most people probably don't even really notice that there's a dinner time. Did you have a dinner time at your house? Like, did you have a specific uh, dinner time? Specific, no. It was always when, because my dad came home later, because he, he just worked later, so it was always when my when dad- When he gets home. When my dad came home is when we had dinner, which was usually like 6.30. Yeah, yeah. I never had, yeah, was, no, yes. like a it dinner's was, at this time sort of it thing. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. You better be home for dinner. Um, So instead of asking her what she'd like to do for dinner, he's chatting to her about some butterfly crystals he found in the garden. So this guy's just living his life. <laughs> no, he's playing. He's playing the game right now. You think he's? She's like. Shit, he yeah. goes. He goes. <laughs> she's like. Yeah. Hey, he's like uh, talking. Like she's trying to drop subtle hints about there not being dinner. And he goes. You know, I found these butterfly crystals in the garden. Isn't he that just wild? unaffected. Like totally just taking it. That topic. is the move. I, we don't have all the information, but that is one hundred percent the move. When you can tell she's huffing around up to up to something you have to pretend you ignore it. Yep. Because you have to pretend you just didn't notice at all. Yep. He's totally and completely oblivious to the fact that dinner is not made yet. <laughs> it is very like just to live in that kind of small world. Meanwhile, she notes that he's she's extremely hungry. So now she's getting hungry. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Like, so she's thirty minutes in, and now she's starving to death, and she's talking about butterflies, watching the game. So this experience not going as planned for her. The camera people. I mean, she's hungry. having. I'm looking at her TikTok right now, and she is having since this video a literal fucking meltdown. Okay, as a person, you're like, if this was, if this is your husband, she has. Oh, so he, that's why he knows. He goes. She goes. Anything about dinner? This guy knows better than to say anything that's going to trigger her. So this is her, not the most recent one, but uh, this one right here, two ago, is it says yes. That's me as a fanny. I'm dressed up as a giant minge to celebrate Get Lippy Day. Oh, she's dressed up like a vagina, like a giant vagina, Ew. like like. Well, this is the stinks. kind of stuff that your wife's posting while you're fucking slaving away at work. I mean, listen, if my if you're if you have a wife that's dressed up like a fucking vagina, <laughs> I will tell you, 
I'm probably not expecting her to make too much dinner. <laughs> I'll probably pick something up on the way home. That's one of those things where if you're on the internet and you if you see your in your feed that your wife's posting photos of her dressed up like a vagina, I think you probably stop at uh, the bodega on the way home. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Here's her most recent one. Is uh, eight years of being married to Roger. So this is the fucking loser's name. And uh, married to Roger. And we're still going strong even though I got his name wrong at the altar. <laughs> And it's her literal wedding day video, and it says when you say the name wrong at the altar. She said her husband's name wrong, and this you think guy's she like did that on purpose for the clout. It was eight years ago. This is before clout existed. That is fucking nuts. Now she's yeah. Now she's loving it. It's you know the funny is obviously like it was a name. She That's says what, for clarity, I've never shagged a Roger. It's a name of a different race too. <laughs> <laughs> DeAndre, you go. That doesn't even sound like Roger. You know what? I just want to say that I can't wait to spend my life with you, Muhammad. Oh, sorry. I mean uh, <laughs> Bill. And she goes, "What the fuck?" <laughs> 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 There is no one that I'd rather be with than you, Lonnie Andro. Yeah. And you go, what? <laughs> this guy's getting, literally been getting bitched around since like the vows. We got to pour one out for this, bro, eh? Uh, sorry, Raj. I'm gone. I'm so... So then he goes, I'm gone. I'm so hungry, so I'm not cooking tonight. And then my husband is suddenly not hungry either. He'd rather starve than cook. Oh, uh, this is uh, other comments. So this is people in the comment section, which I did for you. Um, but they go, despite her grumbling stomach, she sticks to the plan. I've got to do this for the sake of women. So <laughs> she's like on a for women. She's doing a freedom fighting mission right now, storming around the house with her experiment. She's she's gone forty five seconds without filling her fat stomach, and she thinks she's a hero. It must be a fun fun home life. I've got to prove a point. After putting their son to bed around nine p.m., uh, sure, her husband finally offers to make a gourmet meal of fish sticks and fish fingers and chips. So there you have it. I'm eating at nine p.m. and uh, three hours later than we normally eat. I officially hate men yeah so, huge win for roger by the way roger roger is just like this <laughs> well it, they it, like he wants some fish some fish and chips yeah, he probably it. likes fish and chips but he likes it but he's more so just like she's falling apart now oh he walks in she's pulling all her hair out and she goes what's and he goes are you okay he goes am i okay <laughs> dinner's two hours late smashing plates i need a way. fish stick he goes, but I'm out here, me, <laughs> this queen, fish sticks. He's like, but I thought you said you were going to make dinner. And she goes, what? Ah! <laughs> Lock, give me my TikTok. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Roger's. I will say that my take to the only advice that I can give guys on this one is you do, you are better off in most cases finding a girl that makes a little bit less money than you. And you kind of need TikToks. that leverage against that shit. Don't doesn't, you? Well, don't you do? Do don't want a girl that's fucking putting you know lifestyle. You don't want. Her. You definitely do not want some chick who just like has one TikTok that has a million views. Oh, you don't that's, want that. That's what you want. That's wanna, scary. That's scary because they just got a taste. She will need that, right? She's gonna be just doing some wacky ass shit. Oh right? god, like because this is what this chick is like. Her sixth TikTok or something got like a million views, and then you're like, yeah, that's. yeah. So she's scary. It's a taste, but also you want to have a little bit more money because then you have a little bit of leverage. So it's like. An Anyway, yeah. if you make 50 grand, find a girl that makes 35 grand. Whatever it is, you fucking get in that. You know what I mean? Or you just need to be willing to walk away at any moment. Willing to walk too. away, yeah. I thought too. Yeah, maybe just avoid the crazies, period. Yeah. That's good advice. Mm -hmm. Since it's not possible. And one last thing we're going to talk about before we get out of here. The Elon Musk, George Soros beef has been pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah. Also, Elon Musk put installed a not for the boys CEO on Twitter. I can't tell everybody. Everybody. <laughs> I know. I can't. It's tell all over the place. Like some people don't like. She follows all like Joe Rogan and Donald Trump. She and says all this stuff Daily though. Wire. But I, I know a lot of people that say the stuff that don't think the stuff. So yeah. if you're in the corporate world, then she's making videos about how you got to put a mask on and all that sort of stuff. But yeah. whatever, right? But. Um, you know, and I think there's all these videos of her being like, you know, hate speech is the worst speech in the world or whatever, right? Yeah. But on the other side of it, it's like, I guess if she doesn't, if she's- I like, mean, again, he said yesterday, he did a David Faber interview and he said that, because you know, they have the community notes thing, which is great, actually. It's, uh, I really like the community notes thing. I like, I like it too, yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. I even rate some of them sometimes just because for people I don't like and then I rate them. Yeah, it is Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> I literally do. Sometimes I'll rate a note and be like, yeah, fuck you. And then- uh, <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> but uh, he said he lost forty million dollars because two advertisers got community noted on their ads. Like, so they post an ad which are still eligible. And the ads them. were lies. But like, one of them apparently was a Samsung ad that says like this camera can see the dark side of the moon, like a joke. And then it got like all these nerds being like, um, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and I got community noted and he's like won't take them off uh, he won't remove the community notes because it's just like a feature I think the community notes are good no community notes are great but, um, I don't really exactly understand how it works but it seems to work pretty decently it's straight up someone says something and then if you go this is a lie then they post the context be like if you click on the community note it'll say like someone will you can just make a community note or anything saying like this is a lie here's like the proof that this is a lie so like Joe Biden literally said like like the president of the United States is getting community notes. And if enough people vote them as saying like, this is accurate, but wouldn't that just become like a partisan who votes more thing? Sure. Like, but, couldn't you but it doesn't it stop, that way? but it doesn't stop anyone from voting, but theoretically, yes. But like, it's, I don't think you could bot that. And especially with, no, like, but do you know what I mean? If, if you yeah. were like, Hey, everyone go vote, put a community note on this. That's wrong. Like what prevents, Absolutely. what prevents that for sure? N nothing. But I mean, I guess the other side could also say like, well, we're going to, you know, do the opposite or whatever so and like they'll they'll vote like if it, i guess if everybody votes then it doesn't become a significant note because it has to hit right. a threshold to actually matter well soros is getting freaking flamed by elon musk and basically elon musk actually did a pretty funny joke where he said the he said the anti-defamation league should drop the a yeah, yeah. just be the defamation league because <laughs> yeah. it's kind of what they are but he, he, there's an update actually it is sort of an unfair thing that anyone who calls george soros you know a problem is like they just they go, they're they're yeah, yeah, it yeah. is kind of wild which they though. don't do with sheldon adelson which is funny because yeah. sheldon adelson's like a right wing yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so he's, sorry. He's all his money. Anyways, this is just an update for the thing because he says Soros <laughs> reminds me of Magneto. Yeah, that's what he was saying. And then people are like, um, excuse me, Magneto like escaped the Holocaust or whatever and killed Nazis, blah, blah, blah. And then and then people are like, it's anti-Semitic. And then three hours ago, uh, Elon Musk said, I'd like to apologize for this post. It was really unfair to Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he hates him, but it is well. A big part of that is he basically dropped all the Tesla stock, so he was trying to basically like. There's that Tesla. too, but I didn't actually realize until David sure David Sachs did a big post on. Um, well, basically, what Soros did is he. It, and then they, they described it, these guys described it as like trying to get outsized influence. But basically, they found out that you don't need that much money to swing a local DA election. Yeah, yeah. Right? I, I had no idea. So, you essentially, yeah. like, if you want to put like a candidate in for governor or whatever, yeah. you got to drop like real cash, right? Yeah. But they're like, in these local DA elections, you drop like 200 grand. It's like a lot of money, right? Yeah. So, they would get all these da DAs in and they actually have a ton of power. So, he's like, that's why yeah, they're they saying, don't, sort of, yeah, he's like, instead of just not uh, <clears throat> making a lot, like, because they're like, well, they can't make laws, but they could just like not uh, convict people, right? And, like, so not not enforce them. So and, he basically took like probably instead of funding a presidential run, he funded like twenty thousand of these fucking little yeah. tiny runs, and it was like probably a pretty smart move. I to mean, get like influence. literally, like I, I don't know if he did Alvin Bragg in New York, but like yeah, he just gets these people who will you you know like New York was notorious when we moved here. They were doing that whole thing with the bail reform, where if you promised to like show up to your court date, they were giving you Mets tickets and stuff, and they were letting everybody <laughs> out. They were. They were legitimately, if you promise to come back for your court date, you get tickets to go see the Mets. I was just like, what? You're like, how about like we won't lock you up for longer? Like, shouldn't that be the deal? You go, come back. Or we lock you up for so longer. So if you like, if, even if you like, you know, went and punched a lady and robbed her, I mean, and give you meds tickets for showing yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, it's like the Jordan Neely thing was like, the, 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 yeah, he's been arrested forty times, and, and he's gonna get meds tickets. <laughs> I've been probably was tons of Mets games. It's like a Mets season. <laughs> oh my god! It's like a Mets season seat holder. <laughs> okay, we got a whole bunch more stuff to talk about. So come rock with us on the Patreon and watch episode one of Bugman vs. Bugman, and definitely uh, for the Patreon people when you're posting, uh, post in that forum because it's like super uh, easy in the discord read. in the discord yeah it's like super easy so people put all the articles and i was like going through all of them. Yep. it was like really well done but people posting the other one instead so that one's the best one yeah patreon.com slash the boys cast and we're yeah we're like three and change away from bugman versus bugman two yeah it's pretty sick yeah no oh, i'm yeah. happy i'm like pretty pumped with the way it goes so I'm should, like we let, should we let the patrons vote on the next uh bugman versus bugman yes we can do something, yeah, like, we can that. Do something like that maybe a little participation yeah it, well you guys want participation medals yeah, we could do that, but yeah, Whatever. no, we take ideas, but I think that a lot of them might be logistics. Like if someone's like, of go, go parachuting, no, no, no. we might no, not no, be no, able they to don't get to find no, a no, guy. No, 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 we'll provide it. the options. Okay, they can we vote. provide ones we think we could do. Yeah, yeah, obviously, if people do something, go to Mars, we're like, that's not feasible. <laughs> okay, peace. Later.